In the vast cosmic arena, we often ponder the existence of other intelligent beings. How advanced might they be? Could we even recognize their technology? In 1964, Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev proposed a scale to classify civilizations based on their energy consumption. This became known as the Kardashev scale. The scale starts with type 1 civilizations, planetary civilizations. These societies have mastered the energy output of their home planet. They can harness all the energy from their sun that reaches their planet. They control the weather, volcanoes, and even earthquakes. Next are type 2 civilizations, stellar civilizations. These incredible societies can capture the total energy output of their host star. Imagine harnessing the power of our sun, all 10 to the power of 26 watts of it. This is where the concept of a Dyson sphere comes in. Finally, we have type 3 civilizations. These galactic civilizations are true masters of the cosmos. They command the energy output of their entire galaxy, utilizing the power of billions of stars. Thinking about these scales helps us understand the potential pathways for civilizations, including our own. In 1960, physicist Freeman Dyson popularized an intriguing idea. What if advanced civilizations could build a megastructure to capture the energy of their star? This structure, now known as a Dyson Sphere, would be a testament to their technological prowess and thirst for energy. It's a mind-boggling concept, pushing the boundaries of engineering and imagination. A Dyson Sphere isn't a solid sphere as often depicted in science fiction. The gravitational forces would be unmanageable. Instead, it's more practical to imagine a massive array of structures. These structures, strategically positioned around the star, would intercept and utilize the star's energy. There are three main types of Dyson spheres, Dyson swarms, Dyson bubbles, and Dyson shells. Each type represents a different approach to capturing stellar energy, with varying levels of complexity and scale. The implications of such a megastructure are profound. A civilization capable of building a Dyson sphere would have access to nearly limitless energy, fueling their technological advancements and shaping their destiny in ways we can only begin to imagine. The Dyson Swarm is the most plausible type of Dyson Sphere, a more achievable stepping stone for a civilization ascending the Kardashev scale. Imagine countless small, independent solar collectors orbiting a star in a dense formation. That's the essence of a Dyson Swarm. Each collector in the swarm would beam the collected energy to a central hub for processing and distribution. This modular design offers flexibility and redundancy. The swarm can be built gradually, with new collectors added over time. The beauty of the Dyson Swarm lies in its scalability. A civilization could start with a small swarm and gradually expand it as its energy needs grow. This makes the Dyson Swarm a more feasible option compared to the other, more ambitious types of Dyson spheres. The Dyson Bubble takes a different approach to harnessing stellar energy. Instead of relying on orbiting collectors, it envisions a static sphere held in place by the pressure of the sun's radiation pushing outward. Imagine a thin, reflective material like a giant solar sail encasing the star. This material would be light and thin, yet incredibly strong and heat-resistant. This bubble wouldn't be a true sphere but rather a constellation of interconnected, perfectly reflecting surfaces. Each would be positioned at a precise distance to maintain equilibrium between the inward pull of gravity and the outward push of radiation. The challenges for constructing a Dyson bubble are immense. The material science required to develop a material that can withstand the intense radiation and heat of a star is beyond our current capabilities. But the potential rewards are equally great. A Dyson bubble could capture a significant portion of a star's energy providing a truly staggering amount of power. Section 5. An impossible dream? The Dyson Shell. The Dyson Shell represents the ultimate vision of a Dyson Sphere. A solid shell completely enclosing a star. It's the type most often depicted in science fiction. A testament to the boundless possibilities of imagination. This hypothetical megastructure would capture 100% of the star's energy output. An unimaginable amount of power. The interior surface of the shell could potentially be habitable, offering an incredible amount of living space. However, the Dyson shell faces insurmountable challenges. The amount of material needed to construct such a shell would be astronomical, likely requiring more material than exists in our entire solar system. The structural integrity needed to withstand the gravitational forces would be immense. While the Dyson shell remains a captivating concept, 
it's important to acknowledge its limitations. The engineering challenges are simply too great for our current understanding of physics and technology. It's a testament to the scale of cosmic engineering but perhaps best left in the realm of science fiction for now. Section 6. Cosmic Engineering Challenges and Considerations Building any type of Dyson Sphere, even a swarm, would be a Herculean task. Let's dive into some of the mind-boggling challenges. First, we need to talk about materials. We would need to mine unimaginable quantities of raw materials, likely from asteroids or even planets. This means developing space-based mining and manufacturing on an unprecedented scale. Then there's the issue of energy. Constructing a Dyson Sphere would require a tremendous amount of energy. Where would this energy come from? It's a classic chicken and egg problem. We also need to consider the immense heat generated by a star, our materials would need to withstand temperatures that would melt any known substance. This means developing new materials and cooling systems that can operate under extreme conditions. Finally, there's the challenge of orbital mechanics. How do you keep countless individual structures in a stable orbit around a star, preventing collisions and ensuring the entire structure remains cohesive? The precision and complexity of such an engineering feat are truly mind-boggling. Section 7. A New Era for Humanity – Implications of a Dyson Sphere The successful construction of a Dyson Sphere, even a partial one, would be a defining moment in human history. It would signify a leap to Type II civilization status on the Kardashev scale, a testament to our ingenuity and ambition as a species. With access to nearly limitless energy, many of our current limitations would disappear. We could power our cities, industries and transportation systems with clean, sustainable energy. Space travel would become commonplace, opening up the solar system and beyond for exploration and colonization. The abundance of energy could also fuel unprecedented technological advancements. Imagine advancements in artificial intelligence, biotechnology and materials science that we can only dream of today. Resource scarcity, a major driver of conflict throughout human history, could become a thing of the past. However, such a profound technological leap would also bring about new challenges. The social, economic and political structures of our world would need to adapt to this new paradigm. The ethical implications of wielding such immense power would need careful consideration. Section 8. Seeking Other Intelligences, Dyson Spheres and SETI the search for extraterrestrial intelligence or SETI has captivated humanity for decades. We scan the cosmos, listening for radio signals or searching for other signs of intelligent life. But what if we're looking for the wrong signals? A Dyson sphere, even a partially constructed one, would emit a distinct infrared signature detectable across interstellar distances. This waste heat would be a beacon, a telltale sign of a technologically advanced civilization. Instead of just listening for radio waves, Perhaps we should also be searching for these infrared signatures. It's a different approach to SETI, one that broadens our perspective and challenges us to consider alternative forms of technological expression. The Fermi paradox, the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact with such civilizations, could also be explained by the existence of Dyson spheres. Perhaps advanced civilizations are not silent, they're just not communicating in ways we currently understand or detect. Section 9, Our Cosmic Destiny, Reflections on a Grand Future. The concept of a Dyson Sphere, while seemingly fantastical, compels us to confront profound questions about our place in the cosmos. It forces us to think about the long-term survival and advancement of our species. Can humanity overcome its short-term thinking and tribalism to work towards such a grand, unifying goal? Can we solve the technological and social challenges that stand in our way? Or are we destined to remain confined to our pale blue dot, limited by our own limitations? The universe is full of wonders, of possibilities beyond our wildest imaginations. The concept of a Dyson Sphere serves as a powerful reminder that our journey as a species is just beginning. It's a call to action, an invitation to dream big and to push the boundaries of what we believe is possible. As we gaze out at the stars, let us remember that we are part of something much greater than ourselves. Let us strive to be worthy inheritors of the cosmos, to explore, to learn, and to build a future worthy of our descendants among the stars.